Good morning, everybody. This is Lindy. I just did a video on money, and it was upside down, and I don't know how to fix it. I don't know why it's upside down, <laughs> but it's upside down. Anyway, I just thought I'd tell you. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to fix this, but anyway, I was talking about money, <laughs> and, um, uh oh, moving the phone. And so, don't want you to see my double chin too much. <laughs> so, money, the budget. How much money do you have to live on? You're going to move into your vehicle. Do you have enough money for storage? Uh, gas. Uh, you know, getting the necessities for life. So, are you in an emergency or are you planning this? If you're planning it, set some money aside. Have a savings for emergencies if you can. Or, me, I, I have a couple of large uh, empty credit cards. There's zero on them, but uh, I don't want to use them because I, you know, but if I have an emergency, I will. Um, I'd like to just have savings, but that's, I'm not there yet. I'll get there. I'll get there. So, you know, um, the other thing is with the inflation that's going on right now, I have decided that I have to set aside at least two days a week to not spend money so no spend days I have two days a week I don't spend money I don't drive I don't move I cook exactly the food that I have I don't buy anything I don't spend one red cent and it's really important to me that I do that uh, it it seems to be I'm able to stay more I can't stay on my budget because food, everything is so much higher than when I set my budget up and um, it continues to go up as you as you can tell so I have to do something about that budget I have to bring myself back into the budget no matter what so do you have a budget um, I'm only allowing myself to spend so much money however I break that budget all the time one woman said to me last night, do you keep your budget? I go, no, no. I see a sale. And it's like 50% off. And it's something I use all the time. I'll buy, buy two or three of them. Throws me over my budget. So you have to think about the money you have and the way you're going to live and your goal. What's your ultimate goal? I mean, are you going to stay in your van forever? No, I don't think so. You have to have a goal. Are you saving up for an apartment? Are you saving up to get a tiny home? Uh, what's your goal? What's the end game to moving into your vehicle? Do you even have one? Um, I planned on moving into a vehicle. It, it was something I wanted to do. I did do it. And I lived in a vehicle in a 1989 Mazda minivan from 2011 to 2013. I did it to save money also. I lost the place I lived. It was very quick. The state came in and closed down the, my place where I was living. Uh, I mean, the mobile home park and a bit for bad things. And uh, I lost the place I was living. So all I had was this minivan and I took the seats out and got a storage shed, threw everything in there. And uh, I had, you know, I just had clothes on my back and clothes that I could work with, a bucket uh, for personal care. <laughs> Because I had restrooms I used all the time. Um, what else did I have? I had two mats, a lounge cushions for a bed with a sheet. I didn't have a stove. I didn't cook in my van because I, I just didn't know how to do it. And I didn't have the money. And food was available. Since I worked for KFC, I could get all the food I wanted. And that's what I ate. So I rarely bought any food at all. I had no food in the van other than what was in the cooler for snacks. And a portable fan, a battery operated fan. Uh, I was very, that was minimal, okay? I'm not minimal right now, but that was very minimal. And I did enjoy it. But my goal was to save money to get into an apartment. I had to have a down payment, first, last, and deposit, and it was a lot of money. And I didn't have it, so I saved to get it. And it took me two years, and, and I did it. But you have to, figure that you have to have an end game uh, to everything that you're doing here this is this is um important that you 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 do this 
you, you need some money set aside in case you need maintenance or you have an emergency of some kind. And um, you can plan all you want, but disasters happen. I mean, hurricanes, natural disasters, and man-made disasters, they happen. And none of us can prepare for that. We can only do the best we can. So I just wanted to talk about, oh, and I want to, I got to tell you guys, I set up memberships, okay? I can't see them on my videos. I don't know how you, how you join. I haven't figured it out yet. So people are joining. Thank you for my new members. I don't know how you did it, okay? I don't know how to join. I can't figure it out. But maybe next time. <laughs> maybe the next video I'll know how. Because people asking me, I don't have a clue. So, uh, it's just silly. Silly, silly, silly. You know, just too much. Just too much. <laughs> I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.